quarter of all men become incontinent. Best to just start taking Ideal Prostate Plus and begin to improve your enlarged prostate and bladder problems. All right, we've got Scott on the line. Scott, what's your question? I'm just beginning to see this happen. How quickly is it going to get worse? And can I reverse what's already started? Scott, that's a great question. The prostate begins to grow in a man's 30s and 40s, and symptoms will get worse. But you can reverse the symptoms. You don't have to accept your fate. Begin taking Ideal Prostate Plus now, and you should start seeing a return of normalcy in two weeks. All right, George, I know you're standing by. Go ahead. Yeah, doctor, how can I tell if the dribbling and leaking is from a bladder problem or a prostate problem? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Dribbling and leaking can be a prostate and or a bladder problem. Only Ideal Prostate Plus has a comprehensive formula to solve both the problems of the prostate and the bladder. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. All right, Quentin, go ahead. What's your question? Yeah, Doc, will my sex life get any better? Quentin, that's a question every man wants answered. Many men find that the effect of urgency, frequency, and getting up all night, plus dribbling and leaking, affects their ego, self-image, and confidence, and that hurts in the bedroom. With improvements in those areas, their sex life can improve. We have a woman now on the phone. Ruth is standing by. Hello, Ruth. My husband gets up three or four times a night. He also avoids going to the movies, which I love. And when he goes to the bathroom, it takes forever. He's insisting he's fine. Any suggestions on what I should do? Doc, do you, do you mind if I take this one? No, please. First of all, Ruth, thank you so much for calling in. Thanks for the question. You know, Ruth, he's probably like the rest of us men. He's probably, he's probably afraid, maybe embarrassed, in denial. Hey, just let him know that you love him and tell him that you want both of your lives back. And then hand him a bottle of Ideal Prostate Plus. Ask him to give it a try. Thanks again for calling in. Eddie's standing by. Eddie, go ahead. Yes, doctor. Is it ever too late to start taking Ideal Prostate Plus? Eddie, I love that question. In a word, no. But remember, the earlier you begin to pursue prostate health, the better off you will be, period. Thank you so much, Dr. Rosenfeld, for stopping by today. I can see you're very passionate about this, and now I know why. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me here. I urge you to pick up the phone and order Ideal Prostate Plus now. Don't suffer in silence. Get your life back. Until we meet again, be well. You've tried the rest. Now try the best. Only all-new Ideal Prostate Plus addresses the problems of frequency, urgency, and dribbling and leaking. So pick up the phone to try Ideal Prostate Plus for 30 days for free. Just pay shipping and processing. And if it doesn't do everything we've promised, just return the unused portion and your credit card will never be charged for the product. And keep the bottle of Ultimax and our comprehensive guide to prostate and bladder health as your free gifts. Get your life back. Call now. Call 1-800-236-5099. That's 1-800-236-5099. Or go online at idealprostate.com now. No, I can't say I really like this. I love this stuff. This stuff is giving me, you know, a new lease on life. The preceding was a paid commercial program for Ideal Prostate Plus, sponsored by Trusted Thera Botanics. This has been a paid commercial program. Views expressed belong to its participants and are not necessarily those of the management and staff of ABC 36. I'm Rob Kepperling. And I'm Christina Pink Kepperling with Powerful Legacy Insurance and Financial Services. And I'm Randy Major. Have you ever wondered if your retirement is on the right track? Join us here every week to find out how you can live the retirement of your dreams. Watch ABC 36 every Friday night for Chief Meteorologist T.J. Shuck's Bowtie Friday Forecast. Brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shock. Return, refresh, refuel. Cars will break down. And when they do, it's too late. If your car is out of warranty, it leaves you with two choices. Get stuck paying for expensive repairs or one phone call to CarShield. Their administrators pay for your covered repairs so you don't have to. Your coverage includes roadside assistance, towing, rental, and so much more. Plus, with their nationwide network, you choose the mechanic or dealer. Best of all, 
There's coverage for every wallet size. Make the smart call before it's too late. Call CarShield today. Several developing stories as we come on the air tonight. 14 million Americans on alert for flash flooding as monsoon storms take aim. Some areas are bracing for up to 10 inches of rain. Dramatic new video shows flood water surging near New Mexico's Carlsbad Caverns National Park. 150 people left stranded. We'll hear from one of the families tonight. A similar story in Utah where drivers were left stranded after heavy rain blanketed roads and beyond. Authorities are now desperately searching for a missing hiker swept off her feet in the floods. And now several states, including Texas, are getting ready for heavy downpours. Will Carr is on the ground for us in Dallas. Our weather team times it all out. Also developing new video of a deadly car bomb explosion outside Moscow. The 29-year-old daughter of an outspoken Russian nationalist killed her father, a strong supporter of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. He is thought to have been the target. Ukraine denies any involvement. The attack comes as Ukraine steps up attacks in Russian-controlled territory. And President Zelensky gives a new warning for his people. Britt Clement is in Kyiv tonight. Police in Washington state believe they may have foiled a mass shooting, arresting a man who allegedly brought multiple guns to a music festival. Concert goers alerting security, saying they saw a man load two semi-automatic pistols outside a packed concert attended by 25,000 people. The battle for control of Congress, Republican leader Mitch McConnell dials down expectations, saying the GOP will likely take back the House, but a lack of quality candidates could stand in the way of Republican control of the Senate. Mary Alice Parks is standing by. New York State confirms its first juvenile case of monkeypox, the 10th pediatric infection nationwide, sparking concerns as children head back to school and universities reopen dorms. The new White House pushed to vaccinate at-risk communities. The case against actor Gary Busey. New Jersey police charged the 78-year-old star with sex crimes. Authorities are now appealing to the public, asking for witnesses and other potential victims to come forward. Dramatic new video just in. Several injured after a boat explodes in Florida. And America Strong, 105 and still going. The ageless farmer who's faithfully working his fields. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Lindsay Davis. As we come on the air tonight, 14 million Americans are on alert as monsoon rains move east. Some places that have suffered under oppressive heat and drought are now anticipating flash flooding. Forecasters say potentially 10 inches of rain could fall in the next few days. Major cities, including Dallas, Austin, and Jackson, Mississippi, are all in the danger zone. That same monsoon moisture is bringing flash flooding to Utah, where many roads resemble rivers, leaving residents unable to get to their cars. This restaurant partially submerged as the water rose. And tonight, the desperate search for a hiker, part of a group swept off their feet by raging water. So far, authorities have only found her backpack. In New Mexico, the deluge left about 150 people stranded in Calsburg Caverns National Park, water overtaking one of the main roads there, leading to a shelter-in-place order. We're going to get to the forecast in just a minute, but first, Will Carr leads us off tonight from Dallas. Tonight, dramatic new images showing a surge of monsoon floodwaters raging near New Mexico's Carlsbad Caverns National Park. The heavy rain stranding around 150 people inside the park. Flash flooding overtaking one of the main roads nearby, sparking a shelter in place order. The Saavedra family was visiting the caverns from Albuquerque, exploring the caves with their kids when park rangers told them they needed to evacuate. Nobody knew what time we could leave. We thought maybe a couple of hours. We didn't realize we could be there all night. After hours of waiting, oh the Saavedra's gosh. finally given the okay to leave the park. It was almost midnight. In Utah, authorities desperately searching for missing hiker Jital Agnihotri swept off her feet when raging flood water suddenly overwhelmed a group she was with in Zion National Park. Only her backpack was found. In Moab, downpours turning roads into rivers. The muddy water gushing into this restaurant. Employees trying to save anything they could from being swept up by the current. Flood waters pouring through the streets. These people carefully cross through the ankle deep water. Overnight in Arizona, high winds and heavy rain. Lightning lighting up the night sky in Phoenix. It's been a very active monsoon season this summer. Every weather station in Arizona and New Mexico reporting above average rainfall. 
Lindsay, tonight, while Texas is desperate for rain, this area has had a rain deficit of more than a foot over the last year. Too much rain too quickly could lead to more flash flooding. Lindsay. And all of this after two months of drought. Will, thank you. Let's get right to meteorologist Cheryl Scott from our Chicago station, WLS. Cheryl, how long do you expect that this rain will last? Yes, Lindsay, this is not going to be a quick hitting system. In fact, we're looking at several rounds of rain in the same locations for the next 24 to 48 hours, and this heavy rain will be lingering in the deep south for a day. You can see the flood watch here for parts of Texas into Oklahoma. That's the big concern. And if this rain comes down too heavy, too fast, you can see parts of Texas there, exceptional drought. That's the concern, the flooding and the flash flooding. And also keeping an eye on the Northeast and New England because we have drought in some of these low Locations from Providence up towards Boston, even New York and New Jersey, monitor to severe to even extreme drought. We are tracking some rain here in the coming days over the next Monday and Tuesday, anywhere from about one to two inches. So this will be a welcome rain across the Northeast. Lindsay? One extreme to another. Cheryl, thank you. We turn now to that deadly car bomb attack outside of Moscow. The victim was the daughter of high-profile Russian nationalist Alexander Dugin. Videos being shown on Russian television show the immediate aftermath of the blast, the vehicle engulfed in flames. You can see what appears to be Dugan in shock, his hands on his head moments after the detonation. Dugan has been a strong proponent of the Russian invasion. ABC's Brit Clinic reports tonight from Kyiv. Tonight, new video of that fiery car bomb explosion that killed the daughter of an ally of Vladimir Putin. Video is being shown on Russian television showing the immediate aftermath of the blast. The vehicle engulfed in flames, debris strewn on the street. The victim identified as 29-year-old Daria Duginya. You can see what appears to be her father, Alexander Dugin, in shock. His hands on his head moments after the detonation outside Moscow. Russian state media says the car belonged to her father. Dugan and his daughter had been traveling together, but according to his friend's Telegram channel, they switched cars, leading some to believe he was the intended target. Dugan, an ultra-nationalist and staunch supporter of Russia's invasion, has been called Putin's brain. A Russian official tonight saying investigators remain at the scene. Authorities there believe the killing was planned and contracted and pointing the finger at Ukraine, but the Ukrainians deny any involvement. The killing coming one day after a Ukrainian drone strike deep within Russian-controlled Crimea. Videos circulating online show heavy smoke rising above Russia's Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Sevastopol. And the world still on high alert over the volatile situation at the nuclear plant in Zaporizhia. New shelling today just across the Dnipro River. Ukraine tonight saying the plant continues to operate with the, quote, risk of violating radiation and fire safety standards. President Biden today discussing the situation at the plant with the leaders of France, Germany and the UK, stressing the need to avoid military operations around the plant. Ukrainians on high alert. Britt Klenet joins us once again from Kyiv. And Britt, what more are you learning about that suspicious bombing outside of Moscow? Well, Lindsay, Russia says it's investigating it as a murder, but really it comes at a sensitive time here in Ukraine. President Zelensky warning that Russia could be planning something particularly cruel. Now, we're just a few days away from Ukrainian Independence Day here, which also happens to be six months to the day that Russia invaded. And we've just learned that state employees have been advised to stay away from central Kyiv on these days as a precaution. Lindsay? Britt, thank you. An end to a deadly 30-hour siege in Somalia's capital. At least 21 people died and more than 100 were wounded when Islamic extremists attacked a popular hotel. Government forces could be seen exchanging fire with al-Shabaab militants. The hotel was badly damaged in the attack. The U.N. and the U.S. have both condemned the violence. Now to the potential mass shooting. Police believe they may have foiled in Washington state. Authorities arrested a 30-year-old man who allegedly brought multiple guns to the Bass Canyon Music Festival, which was attended by more than 25,000 people. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the details. Tonight, a massive sold-out dance festival in Washington state, the target of what police believe could have been a mass shooting. On Friday night, the Grant County Sheriff's Office saying witnesses tipped them off after they say they saw a man in the parking lot inhale an unknown substance or gas from a balloon. They say he then loaded two 9-millimeter handguns, putting one in his waistband 
the other in a holster. Security then made contact with that person. They were able to disarm the person and hold him until deputies arrived to take him into custody. Authorities say the suspect, identified as 30-year-old Jonathan Moody, had asked concert goers where the exits were and what time the crowd would be leaving. And if his intention was to shoot up people, there would have been about 25,000 people inside the concert. He never made access to the concert venue. Overnight, officials like promising ramped up security on day two of the festival. Taylor Pascal was there. Definitely not really feeling very safe right now. Pascal, an avid rave and festival goer, says she contemplated not going back. The close call now has her on edge. This is like really like a lot. This is like really like the only place where um, like people can go and like really feel like accepted. And the suspect faces multiple gun charges. Lindsay, he's due in court first thing Monday morning. A potential tragedy averted. Morgan, thank you. We turn now to the battle for control of Congress and the critical November midterm. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is now trying to temper GOP expectations, saying that Republicans will likely take control of the House but may not win back the Senate because of a lack of quality candidates. Here's ABC's White House correspondent, Mary Alice Parks. With the midterm elections right around the corner, tonight the Senate Republican leader lowering expectations. There's a, probably a greater likelihood the House flips than the Senate. Senate races are just different. They're statewide. Uh, candidate quality has a lot to do with the outcome. Republicans had hoped that the country's record high inflation and President Biden's low approval ratings would amount to a red wave. Oh, but now, with only 79 days to go until Election Day, Democrats say the tide is turning. Listen, we, we've been counted out for a while now, but we are having a comeback. From Texas to Wisconsin to Ohio, races heating up. Everywhere you look these days, there's a poll showing a Democrat tied or even ahead in states they were expected to lose. This Tuesday, some of the last primary contests in New York and Florida. Aren't you glad to live in a free state? <laughs> Four Democrats in Florida all hoping for the chance to take on Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, who lately has been campaigning for fellow Republicans in key battleground states, too, seeming to test the waters for a presidential bid. Mary Alice Parks joins us now. And Mary Alice, tell us about the latest news tonight out of Georgia, where Lindsey Graham is fighting a court order to testify before a grand jury. Yeah, Lindsay, a federal court of appeals stepped in at the 11th hour and put a pause on him having to testify right now. But that doesn't mean he won't be ordered to testify in the future. That court is saying that the lower court should review it more. And Mary Alice, one more quick question before you go. What do we know about the deadline this week on the request to unseal the affidavit in the Mar-a-Lago search? Yeah, the judge in that case giving the government until Thursday to propose redactions to protect classified material, protect their investigation. That judge has said he's inclined to make some of that affidavit public. But, Lindsay, we could still see a lot of back and forth about just how much to unseal. All right, Mary Alice Parks, our thanks to you. Tonight, New York State is recording its first juvenile case of monkeypox. This is the 10th pediatric infection nationwide. The news is raising concerns as children prepare to head back to school and universities reopen their dorms to college students. And now the White House is rolling out its strategy to fight yet another virus. ABC's Phil Lipoff is in Boston tonight. Tonight, New York State reporting its first case of monkeypox in a child. Though rare, 10 children now in the U.S. have been infected, causing some concern as schools continue to open. Health officials are also monitoring colleges as students return to campus. I'd be concerned if people weren't open about it, you know, if it becomes like a public thing you don't talk about. Large LGBTQ gatherings across the country are receiving vaccine doses. This weekend, 2,000 offered at the Pride Festival in Charlotte. The CDC saying 93% of cases are still among men who reported recent sexual contact with other men, but warning that anyone can be at risk for catching monkeypox through close skin-to-skin -skin contact. The CDC also stressing that black and brown populations are bearing the brunt of the nation's outbreak. Joel Maldonado says it was difficult to find the vaccine, but his friends heard about this vaccine effort in New York City. There's a lot of anger. There's also a lot of fear. The access to the vaccine, especially for Latino people, for black people, has been very hard to get, very limited. Hispanic Americans account for 33% of the known monkeypox cases, black Americans 28%, both higher percentages than their respective shares of the population. 
The White House says it's rolling out an additional 360,000 vials of vaccine beginning tomorrow. And with this new way of injecting in between layers of skin that just uses a fifth of a vial, those 360,000 vials will turn into close to 2 million doses. Lindsay? Finding a way to make it stretch. Phil, our thanks to you. Tonight, new details into the sex crimes investigation of actor Gary Busey. Police in New Jersey are asking for the public's help in their investigation. Authorities have charged the 78-year-old after accusations of alleged misconduct at a horror movie convention earlier this month. Here's ABC's Kenneth Moten. Tonight, police in New Jersey looking for more possible victims. Victims after charging Oscar-nominated actor Gary Busey with sex crimes they allege were committed at a popular horror film convention. Busey, seen here meeting and greeting fans, was a featured guest at Monster Mania earlier this month. The Cherry Hill police chief telling ABC News that three women have come forward, accusing Busey of groping and inappropriate touching. Investigators are now scouring surveillance video from the event for evidence. The longtime 78-year-old actor known for his eccentric and unusual roles, from Lethal Weapon to Predator 2. Don't you show up in the damnedest places. Now facing two counts of fourth-degree criminal sexual contact, one count of attempted criminal sexual contact, and one count of harassment. Busey kicked out of the convention after organizers said they received a complaint from attendees, adding the celebrity guest was removed from the convention and instructed not to return. Monster Mania also encouraged the attendees to contact the police to file a report. Lindsay, we've learned Busey was interviewed by police after that initial report. The Malibu, California actor is scheduled for a court appearance in New Jersey in the next 10 days. No response from Busey's reps. Lindsay. Kenneth, thank you. And there's still much more ahead on World News Tonight this Sunday. Dramatic new surveillance video captures the moment a boat explodes in Florida. What we know about the people on board. Why hide your skin? If Dupixent has your moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis under control. Hide my skin? Not me. By hitting eczema where it counts, Dupixent helps heal your skin from within keeping you one step ahead of eczema. Hide my skin, not me. And that means long-lasting, clearer skin and fast itch relief for adults. With Dupixin, you can show more skin with less eczema. Hide my skin, not me. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. When you help heal your skin from within, you can change how your skin looks and feels. And that's the kind of change you notice. Talk to your eczema specialist about Dupixin, a breakthrough eczema treatment. Okay, everyone. Our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Yay! Ensure complete balanced nutrition with 27 vitamins and minerals and ensure complete with 30 grams of protein. The day of the heart attack, I, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Seeing my daughter have a heart attack, it shook me. Aspirin helps reduce the chance of another heart attack by 31%. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. Hey, Gary, you been up there all night? Yeah, just keep a watch. You need Simply Safe's wireless outdoor security camera. It has a 140 degree field of view and color night vision. The wireless outdoor security camera from Simply Safe. In a recent clinical study, patients using Salon Pass Patch reported reductions in pain severity, using less or a lot less oral pain medicines and improved quality of life. Ask your doctor about Salon Pass. It's good medicine. Next tonight, a dramatic boat explosion in Florida. The Daytona Beach Fire Department posted this video capturing the moment the vessel, which was at the dock, went up in flames. Four people were on board. They were not hurt. One did have to be airlifted to an area hospital. Officials say the boat had refueled right before the explosion. A daring and dramatic rescue on New York's Hudson River. A Good Samaritan jumped into action after a 48-foot yacht caught fire with at least seven people on board. Everyone was safely removed from the boat and no injuries were reported. The yacht sank and the water is now being monitored for pollution. No word just yet on what caused the fire. When we come back, why you could soon be paying much more for your coffee. Your mission.
Stand up to moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis or active psoriatic arthritis and take it on with Rinvoke. Rinvoke is a once daily pill that tackles pain, stiffness, swelling. For some, Rinvoke significantly reduces RA and PSA fatigue. It can stop irreversible joint damage. And Rinvoke can leave skin clear or almost clear in PSA. That's Rinvoke relief. Renvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Renvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Ask your rheumatologist about Renvoke relief. Renvoke, make it your mission. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Rinvoke. What do we want delivered every month? Clumping litter, salmon pate. Love that for me. Choose the frequency and ship it. I feel so accomplished. Now you can pet me. Great prices on everything pets want. Chewy. For COPD, ask your doctor about breast tree. Breastry gives you better breathing, symptom improvement, and helps prevent flare-ups. Breastry won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. It is not for asthma. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Don't take Breastry more than prescribed. Breastry may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call your doctor if worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain occur. If you have COPD, ask your doctor about Breastry. Your record label is taking off but so is your sound engineer. You need to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Indeed Instant Match instantly delivers quality candidates matching your job description. Visit indeed.com slash hire. Save yourself. Money with farmers? That's not wrong. <laughs> When you bundle your home and auto policies with Farmers, you save yourself up to 20%. That's something. <laughs> Get a whole lot of something with Farmers. Kind of creepy. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. I'm on a mission to talk to people about getting screened for colon cancer and hear their reasons why. I screened for my son. I'm his biggest fan. If you're 45 or older at average risk, you have screening options like Cologuard. Cologuard is non-invasive and finds 92% of colon cancers. It's not for those at high risk. False positive and negative results may occur. Ask your provider if Cologuard is right for you. Everyone has a reason to screen for colon cancer. If you're 45 or older, get started at missiontoscreen.com. To the index now, bad news for coffee lovers. Your morning cup of joe may soon cost more. Drought and then frost have devastated bean crops in Brazil, one of the world's largest coffee exporters. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. Some Brazilian farmer reportedly say that their crops may be less than half of what they would normally get in a good year. Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady is expected to return to work this week. The seven-time Super Bowl champion has been away from the team since August 11th to tend to, quote, personal things. His absence was approved by the Buccaneers, but has been a great source of anxiety for fans and speculation on social media. When we come back, America Strong, one of the nation's oldest farmers still tilling and toiling the soil at 105 years old. Make your home totally you. I did with Wayfair. Sometimes I'm a homebody. Can never have too many pillows. Sometimes I'm all business. Woo! I'm a mama 24-7. Seriously, with the marker? I'm a bit of a foodie. Perfect. But not much of a chef. Yes! Wayfair, you've got just what I need. I didn't win the lawsuit, but everybody knows I wrote that song. Flo? Gosh, it's been forever. You look fantastic. It's John. Ham, from the blind date we went on years ago. Ah, the struggling actor who didn't believe he could save a snapshot based on how and how much he drives. I I'd love to talk about it over dinner sometime. Well, I usually don't talk on the phone during dinner, but for potential customer Tom Ham, I will make an exception. Oh, boy. It's the most hey. wonderful time of the year. 
Claritin provides non-drowsy symptom relief from over 200 indoor and outdoor allergens day after day. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Live Claritin clear. What if you were a global bank who wanted to supercharge your audit system? So you tap IBM to unsilo your data and start crunching a year's worth of transactions against thousands of compliance controls with the help of AI. Now you're making smarter decisions faster, operating costs are lower, and everyone, from your auditors to your bankers, feels like a million bucks. Let's create smarter ways of putting your data to work. IBM, let's create. My grandma never mentioned this, but her first job was working at a five and dime when she was only 16 years old. It's all right there in the census. See where a few details can lead with the 1950 census on Ancestry. This is the moment for a treatment for moderate to severe eczema. Sebaco, FDA approved. 100% steroid free, not an injection. Sabinko is a once daily pill for adults who didn't respond to previous treatments. And Sabinko helps provide clearer skin and less itch. Sabinko can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Before and during treatment, your doctor should check for infections and do blood tests. Tell your doctor if you've had hepatitis B or C, have flu-like symptoms, or are prone to infections. Do not take with medicines that prevent blood clots, serious, sometimes fatal infections, lymphoma, lung, skin, and other cancers, serious heart-related events, and blood clots can happen. People 50 and older with heart disease risk factors have an increased risk of serious heart-related events or death with JAK inhibitors. This is the moment, but we've only just begun. Speak with your doctor about Sabinko today. An innovation from Pfizer. Welcome back, Celebrity Family Feud, everybody. Let's get it on. Celebrity Family Feud is all new. This is my dream come true. Where Hollywood's best get put to the test. Got a good one for you tonight. Celebrity Family Feud, new Sunday on ABC. Pyramid is building the hottest season yet. Pyramid, new time, ABC Tonight. This is ABC News Live Prime. Thanks so much for streaming with us. Live reporting, exclusives, ABC News Live Prime with Lindsay Davis, streaming weeknights. Finally tonight, America Strong, one of the nation's oldest farmers, give us all a lesson in longevity. Earl Malinger has a lot to be thankful for. Just last week, he celebrated 105 years on this earth still tending to his 1,000 acre farm in Oslo, Minnesota. He's one of the oldest working farmers in the country. There's the colonel. Growing sugar beets, wheat, and soybeans. I like to be out with people and look at the crops. Well, I call myself a windshield farmer now. These days, he hires others to do the field work, but he still makes all the decisions for his farm. He's seen many advances in farming over the decades, from using hand tools to modern machinery today. In fact, he credits farming with helping with his longevity. Farming is a very good business to be in. It's exercise, fresh air, and you keep active. One of his secrets to living a long life? Keep moving. Once you do quit moving, you go downhill pretty fast. He started golfing at 75 and played until just a few years ago. And for more than 30 years now, every Tuesday, you can find him here at a group for widows and widowers. Mallinger said he feels blessed to have spent his life farming and enjoying the fruits of all his labor, which now include his large extended family of 60 great grands and grandchildren, sharing these words of advice today. Stay humble, and with the help of God, you don't have to worry. You can don't sweat the small stuff. Known for his beats and his knowledge. Happy birthday to him. Thanks so much for watching. David Muir right back here tomorrow night. I'm Lindsay Davis in New York. Have a great evening. Good night. Thank you for making World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. You know, I love me some good GMA in the morning. Robin, George, Michael, and GMA. Now that's how you start your day. Good morning, America. Mopping the dirt from your floor is a messy chore. Well, now you can spin away those germs with Floor Police, the lightweight and cordless power spin mop that scrubs away messes the fast and easy way. Just add any disinfectant, and at a speedy 100 RPMs, the microfiber pads do all the scrubbing so you don't have to. The secret is the powerful electric motor and rechargeable lithium battery that has 90 minutes of runtime. The swivel head can easily clean in and around obstacles and get deep under furniture. Plus, the pads are machine washable and reusable. 
possible. Get Floor Police with two microfiber pads for just two easy payments of $29.99. But wait, call now and get two free scouring and two free polishing pads. But hold everything because you can double the entire offer. Just pay separate fee and we'll even ship it to you free. That's two Floor Police mops with pads plus free shipping on your entire order. Call or click now. Call 1-800-957-3013 or visit floorpolice.com. So call 1-800-957-3013 now. Coming up, Lexington police are investigating a shooting that left a man injured. Plus, rem remembering radio legend Carl Shannon with a final car cruise in his honor. And scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms on this Sunday afternoon and evening. Things are drying out and warming up. We'll talk about that trend coming up in your Storm Team forecast. ABC 36 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin Shive. Radio legend Carl Shannon's legacy continued today at Waveland Historic Site months after he passed. Shannon was known for putting on car shows for charity, and today the community came together to remember him through one of the things he loved most. ABC 36's Justin Walker was there and has more in our top story at 6.30. Carl Shannon's voice ruled the radio stations for more than 40 years. He was also Waveland's Santa Claus and loved putting on car shows. He supported a lot of the events that the local car shows would do. So when he passed away in June at the age of 68, his annual car show at Waveland was left without an organizer. To honor him, his friends stepped up. So we're honoring Carl. This show is in memory of him. This is his last car show. Good friend Terry Malin says Carl was planning to step away this year from his annual car show. On Sunday, the tradition continued as people brought their classics out, all to raise money for the Friends of Waveland, a charity that was near to Shannon's heart. Each entry gets uh, a dash plaque. It's a little piece of memorabilia that they can put on the dash of their car. Uh, let's uh, reminds them that they were a part of this event. Malin says he believes Carl was watching over them. We miss him. Uh, he's still in our hearts and he's a big part of the community, so his memory will live on for a long time. In Lexington, Justin Walker, ABC 36 News. Lexington police are investigating after a man was found shot early this morning. According to police, officers responded just after 3 a.m. to the 1100 block of New Circle Road to a report of shots fired. When they arrived, they found a man suffering from gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital with what was described as non-life-threatening injuries. If you have any information on this shooting, you're asked to contact Lexington police. An incident at the Kentucky State Fair forced the fair to close early last night. According to state police, troopers responded to a disturbance call around 9.20 p.m. in front of the Midway area on the Kentucky State Fairgrounds. KSP says the fair board did a soft close of the fair out of an abundance of caution. Investigators say a group of people had caused panic with noise-making devices, which led to people at the fair thinking that shots had been fired. KSP says at this time there has been no evidence found that a gun was fired during the disruption, but the investigation remains ongoing. Eight people were arrested by state police and one person arrested by the Kentucky Fair Board Police. Of those arrests, three were adults and six were minors out of Jefferson County. Charges for those people include disorderly conduct, menacing, possession of stolen property, and possession of a gun. The Kentucky State Fair, however, is back open under normal operations. An awareness rally was held this morning to remember the lives of nearly 200 Kentuckians who have died in recent years from fentanyl poisoning. The rally was put on by the Never Alone Nick Rucker Foundation. Founder Angela Parkerson created the foundation in honor of her son who died in 2021. During the rally, families told their stories of losing their children to fentanyl. There were also guest speakers and organizations offering free Narcan. Organizers say Kentucky is number two in the nation in fentanyl poisoning and overdose, and they want all parents to be aware of its dangers. We tell people all the time it's too late for our kids because they're dead. 
but we're trying to save your kid. Yes. You know what I mean? And we really, we know you think it won't happen. I thought that too. And I don't want you to find out like me every day I wake up Groundhog Day, my son is dead. Trying to figure out what happened to him. How did this happen? How could I prevent it? For more information or to find resources, click on this story on our website, WTVQ.com. A regional competition tonight will determine who will represent Central Kentucky and Memphis for eight.